Howdy folks, got another clean water instructional video for you. This is for the J-Pro 22 chlorine dosing metering pump. Uh, when you get the pump out of the box and you go to plug it in for the first time, what's going to happen is it's going to light up 100 on the red digital display and then it's actually going to start pumping. So once it starts pumping, I need to press the on off button. Now it's not pumping. You got the lower button under motor, and that's just indicating we're in standby. And the fact you've got that number there on the screen, that you have a number on the screen, that's saying we're in manual mode. So if you press it on and you press it off, then you go in and you're turning on and off the pump in manual mode. That's what you'll do to prime the pump. You'll just keep it right there. When you're ready to start using the flow meter to trigger the pump, then while you have the pump in the paused position, you're going to press and hold the set button for three seconds. Now the top auto light comes on and the display switch goes to zero. Now you want to set a number of kathunk kathunk strokes for each time a gallon of water passes through and you'll you'll obtain how many number of strokes by determining uh, what your free chlorine residual is later on. But uh, to start off with, what you press and hold to assign a number of strokes for it each time it pulses. You press and hold the set button and the up arrow. Now, I'd currently had it already set for four. It comes, it'll say one. And so I'm going to put it at four again. And then I'm going to go back out of there. Now, when I punch the on off button, we're in standby because the green light's on. I punch the on off button, nothing happens because it's waiting for a signal. Now I'm going to blow through the pump, and when I do, when I, when I simulate air for the water blowing through the pump, you'll hear the pump trigger four times and then stop. At the same time, you'll also see a bunch of random numbers changing on the display, and that's it's actually counting, it's recalibrating constantly for the flow rate, so it kind of means nothing as far as what you're looking at. What you want to confirm is that... <laughs> blows four times, it goes ka-chunk, two, three, four, this number keeps changing every time I blow through it, every time a gallon goes through it, it goes four times and then stops, so again, if you put it back into the standby position, and you go over to the set button, whoops, now I took it off, I put it back in manual, press the set button for three seconds, auto light, now I'm back in pulse. This number is kind of confusing, and that's why I'm pointing that out, is you press set in the up arrow, and I'm at four kerchunks. Now I'm going to put it down at two, and it's going to go back to that weird number. I'm going to take it off of standby again, and I'm going to simulate water. I'm going to get weird numbers, now you're only going to hear it go kathunk twice. <laughs> See? Okay. The lower the flow of the water going through, the lower the digits can be displayed. The faster the water is going through, the higher that digit will be displayed. But it's always going to display that kooky random digit. That was the meter slowing down there, finally. Okay, folks, that's it. Thanks.